SZA, girl. Those tour tickets are so expensive. $500 for nosebleed SZA. So I'm like, do I cancel all my New Year's plans or do I go see SZA for $600 in a front row seat? Like, ah! $30 for this honeycomb. We gotta try this together. This is Future Kyan editing. Why does it look like I'm about to make an apology video? I literally feel like I haven't recorded in ages. Girl, SZA, SZA just dropped like her tour dates and like tickets for pre-sale today. It's Thursday. Uh, pre-sale went on today. Um, bloodbath, actual bloodbath. Also, I'm kind of getting ready. I'm taking you with me to go grocery shopping. I'm washing my face with the Tatcha rice wash. This is not a get ready with me. Okay, listen, I know I'm here to talk about something. SZA, one, if you live under a rock, SZA released her new album, which is called SOS. It's a really, really good album. Friday, SZA released her album, and then Monday, SZA was like, oh, I'm going on tour. Here's all the dates. Tickets go on sale this Friday. So she literally gave us a week to pull our money together and do all this stuff, or less than a week technically, because like, you know, pre-sale was today on Thursday and pre-sale tickets were actually insane. Like they were literally insane, like on Beyonce level prices. I saw SZA in 2016 on the control tour and general admission was $25. Meet and greet was $75. I don't know what this tour even has meet and greet, but four seats were literally for front row seats was at 600, which isn't bad if you're like a Beyonce fan like me, but this is like SZA. This is your second tour. Why are we getting Beyonce prices on your second tour, you know? The resellers are also already going insane. I saw someone on Twitter saying they're selling their four seats for $2,000, which is like kind of crazy if you ask me. Oh my God. Okay, so with the Tatcha uh, rice wash, I also like to let it like sit on my skin after it gets really bubbly. So I let it sit here for like a minute or two to really let like the treatment like seep into my skin. The first like pre-sale that I got into was actually for Chicago. And all of those tickets were literally $600 and like 50 500 and I was like what I literally saw like nosebleed tickets for like $500 resale for that was already going up I was just like SZA SZA please SZA what happened to like you know an affordable tour like listen we have SZA next year we have Beyonce next year we got we have so much we literally have so much also okay now that this is like changing colors on my face, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off. Okay, a little bit got inside of my eye and now it looks like I've been like hotboxing the house. Okay, I have a few more things to do, but I'm gonna do that off camera. I wanted to show you this though. This, I really love. As you can tell, obviously, it's like it's rubbing off. Oh my God, I've been using this. Uh, I'll put it up on the screen now. It's this like vitamin C serum and it's really good. It makes my skin feel very like, summery even though it's winter i feel like my skin holds a lot of moisture in now which is a problem that i used to have my skin used to feel so dry on my face but now i feel like my skin holds so much moisture in, and i really like it i'm ready we are going to go grocery shopping we're gonna chit chat in the car before we do grocery shopping because i do have a lot more thoughts about this whole sort of thing and plus the album call me your favorite song of the album right now i want to know okay please let me know i i want to know says a girl those tour tickets are so expensive are you going to be at coachella i would like to know because if this is going to go to coachella then i'm not going to her tour because i'm going to coachella so i might as well just see her at coachella right says uh, i literally like i have to hear you perform Kill Bill live. I have to see it. I have to be there. When I saw SZA on the Control Tour, it was such a good tour. So for me to possibly miss this tour has me very, very upset. There's a car next to me. I pray that they're fine and okay with seeing me about to break down over SZA. Okay, the time I've been with this, it's a week before Christmas. It's two weeks before New Year's. I already have all my Christmas stuff done. But New Year's, I literally, like my New Year's plans are depending on if I'm going to SZA or not. Because right now, I'm literally like, I could cancel all of my New Year's plans and then buy a front row seat at the SZA tour. Should I do that? Should I do that? I'm asking for your honest help because I'm like, by the time I post this video, there will be comments but like there and I will know before I need to buy this ticket so i'm like do i cancel all my new year's plans or do i go see SZA for 600 dollars in a front row seat like ah like i know i just said that SZA tickets were very expensive but listen i have to see SZA. this album is literally life-changing it's such a good album why would i not go see it like for control i had to for sos i literally have to like i know all the words already i have to go see SZA. you know also this is coming from a long time since the stand like a c SZA run like us like all of that before like streaming platforms i was us as a fan okay so i'm like do i need to see her like i really need to see her so am i really about to cancel all my new year's plans so i can save money and go see SZA? yes i think i am i okay front row seats at the SZA uh tour is six hundred dollars i believe 
my camera died and I had to change the battery pack. I don't even know like what was I was saying. So, so like what happens to the recession? What happened to like, you know, all of this girl? Give us something. Like tell your label to lower the prices. Like come on, I know it's not just you. Tell your like management to lo lower the prices. Make it an affordable tour. Your first tour was so affordable that I literally spent $25 for a GA ticket and then $75 for a meet and greet. Like now I'm literally trying to pay $600 for a SZA tour and I'm literally just like, why? But SZA, I love you and I would do anything for you. I hate that I'm literally moving around my life plans and my life schedule for this tour. I asked you guys on Instagram for my help. I created a little poll and it's basically just says like New Year's Eve or SZA because SZA tickets are $600 and my New Year's plans are like $800, $900, whatever, like around that bu same budget, you know? So I was like, do I just cancel all my New Year's plans or go to SZA? Everyone, I literally mean everyone besides three people are saying SZA. Everyone's saying go to SZA. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. If you told me to go see SZA, I'm probably gonna go see SZA. So that means that I'm gonna be home alone for New Year's Eve because now I'm dropping out of my plans to go see SZA. And honestly, I'm not sad about it. Okay, my rant's over. Um, let's go grocery shopping. Let's catch up. You know, let's go do our let's go do our things. I'm gonna put in these AirPods and we're gonna listen to SZA's album because that's all that I've been listening to. I want to try honeycomb, but okay, they have a Savannah one, which the guy was like, okay, it's okay, but like, I don't want okay, I want good. He said this one was good. That this one was good. So I don't know. I don't know. This one's a local one. Do we try it? I don't know. Let's try it. I don't like these ones. If you ever get these, I don't like them. They taste like they're soaked in like rubbing alcohol. Like, I like the Whole Foods ones, the ones that are in like these containers. I like those ones so much better. I'm home from the grocery store. I want to give you guys a little update on like my favorite grocery snacks and things to eat because I haven't made a vlog in forever and I kind of miss talking to you guys. So I want to show you guys my favorite snacks from Whole Foods. All right, listen, I do know Whole Foods is overpriced, but listen, sometimes they have good things. That's my disclaimer. That's it. All right, some of this stuff is actually really, really good. Prime example are these. These are literally so good. I love these so much. I can literally go through a box of these every day. They're just really like... They're just pita crackers that have really good seasoning on it that doesn't feel like it's too much or it's like not enough. It's always very consistent. So I got four boxes of those because that lasts me a minute. I got this creamer, this oat creamer that's actually very good. I have another one in my fridge. The one I have in my fridge is a vanilla one. I love the vanilla one. I love the sweet and creamy one. I actually like to mix them. So I got this as well. Oh my God, when I was in the store, I saw a really weird avocado. I didn't know if it was supposed to look like that. So I didn't end up getting it. I just got these four avocados. I got honeycomb. Um, I got this honeycomb. Um, so I bought this honeycomb because remember it was like local and like, yeah, it's supposed to be really, really good. But listen, when I went to go check out and I swiped it and it is $30 for this honeycomb. We got to try this together. We got to try this together because, uh, this is a $30 honeycomb that I have to try clearly. Maybe we'll make a little, maybe we'll make a little TikTok out of it and then I'll post it on TikTok. Okay. And then I got like boring stuff, you know, like butter, like berries and stuff. And then I got eggs. If you're picky about your eggs like me, try these eggs. They're so good and they're like uh, like ethically sourced and like each chicken has like its own like little like square of land or like whatever I don't know girl they just ethically sourced but when you crack these these have the orangish yolks that I've ever seen in like a store-bought egg I know like when I was in Japan the eggs there were really really like you know like clean and very orange this is like the closest that I've got to the eggs that I had in Japan and I still miss those every single day and it's been like years oh my god okay I'm gonna put this stuff up and then uh I'll be right back um also I love how I just cried in the car about not being able to afford scissor tickets and I spent a hundred dollars on Nothing. There's essentially nothing. My god. Okay, I made myself a little salad. It's just literally a Caesar salad with like avocado. And now I'm literally going to just do some work. I'm gonna edit this video. I did want to talk a little bit because I feel like I haven't really been that active on like YouTube. I thought I'd do this in the most comfortable way, which is for me, like eating, because I used to do mukbangs on this channel a lot. So I feel like when eating a salad and catching up really quick would be it's needed. So on YouTube, I think I posted this year like maybe once or twice. And honestly, it's because I'm kind of lost in the direction that I want to take my channel. Well, I was lost this year. But I feel like now I know exactly what I want to do with this channel. And I'm really excited for next year because I have really exciting, fun vlogs planned. I think a lot of my new vlogs won't really be center around like oh me eating this food or me doing this like you know food related mukbang stuff it'll be more irl stuff more life stuff especially now since i stream so often on twitch i kind of my free time just want to like go out do fun stuff travel and stuff and i want to vlog that and capture that and make that fun for you guys i also want to do like my i want to share my room i want to actually redo my whole room and my bathroom i want to vlog it you know i want to make it into a series i want to take you around my day-to-day -day life and like all the stuff that i do 
like outside of streaming or outside of eating, you know? I'm excited. I'm excited for next year. We're gonna have some really cool videos. I'm so really sad that SZA tickets are literally $600. $500 for nosebleed SZA! My favorite songs off the new SZA album, SOS. Kill Bill, I love SOS, I love Low, I like Use, I love Forgiveless. That song is really, really good. I love Ghost in the Machine. I love Smoking on My X Pack. When SZA on Smoking on My X Pack comes out and she's literally rapping, she's talking her shit, I'm like, this is SZA! I love it, like this is SZA. Like I love it because this album is so many different genres and her personality all in one, which is why I want to see her live, but I'm like, this album is also me because I feel like I have so many different personalities, so many things that are fighting to come out, like, you know. I love SZA so much. Control changed my life. This album changed my life. She will always change my life. I love her. All right, that's enough for me. I feel like we talked so much today. I will see you guys on the next video. I will be back soon. Bye, guys.